So I did my first Walmart bug out bag video about uh, 2006, I think, or five. I've done them at Dollar General Store, Dollar Tree, uh, various places like that. It's become a widely used kind of a thing. A lot of people are doing it. You might have seen John Lovell and I doing it. Sorry about the wind. But uh, it's time for Plan 12B. Uh, so back at Walmart, and I have the list I keep on my phone. I've printed it out. I'll put, I'll put the list below the video. Uh, but I keep it somewhat organized for the way most Walmarts are laid out. So as I walk through here, I'll try to explain that the best I can. On the list, I have a backpack. But I'm going to use this badass three-day LA police gear pack link below. Uh, and the reason I'm taking the pack in the store is to make sure everything fits. Now I can also hand carry stuff. I want to make sure everything fits in this three-day pack. And really, you should be able to get everything <laughs> you might need for three days in this big ass bag. So it seems like more like a five-day pack. But anyway, let's get in there and check it out. All right, so here we are inside. I'm trying to make the most expeditious. Sorry. <laughs> trying to take the shortest route through all this stuff. I want to get a small pack of wipes. You know, I have a list. I should use that. That might be a, a thing to do. I've already went past something. <laughs> there were people in that aisle, so I went past. Now, I'm not trying to set a time limit, you know, a speed limit in here. I'm just trying to, to get through. Just grab a box of bars of some kind. Then on the uh, first aid side, grab some Coban in case I have a, a knee or, or ankle thing. I could wrap that if I needed to. And then some gauze. I'll just get some gauze pads and uh, that'll be fine. Just grab some ibuprofen in case, uh, you know, achy muscles or whatever the case may be. That, I was wanting to get some uh, some caffeine tablets, but that aisle's blocked up pretty bad, so I'm gonna skip those. Grab some gloves. I could get the fingerless ones, that'd be great. Tempted to get a knife. I think I'll just wait and get another knife in the back. I am going to to add maybe a hammer or a hatchet. <laughs> uh, no, I'll pass on that. Don't want to get too uh, too bogged down. Okay, going to go around the corner here and grab some. Oh, sorry, some contractor trash bags. People in the store think I'm talking to myself. So I'm going to grab these uh, contractor trash bags. 55 gallon, I won't use all of them, but uh, these can be used for rain poncho, uh, to melt a shelter out of, to stuff with leaves and use for a mattress to keep you off the ground. Like a lot of uses for those. Ooh, one aisle over. So the whole thing I'm trying to do is reduce the, uh, the travel, like get everything as close together as possible, blah, blah, blah. Looking for the small rolls of Gorilla Tape. They might be out oh, here, just like a small one. Okay, we're gonna go back out. Again, trying to use the speed comes from economy of motion way of doing this. And take the fewest steps possible which makes the overall trip faster. Looking for a light duty tarp. These are all heavy duty and super heavy duty. So just an eight by 10 tarp. They have scant few items here. Fire steel, I'll get that. They have Hmm. Looking to see what the best idea there. Emergency poncho on the list. Looking for a whistle. So. Looking for a signal mirror. Might just have to buy a regular mirror. 
Do, 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 do. And... <laughs> Some stormproof matches. Small fire starter block. Let's see. Water purification tabs right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the Sawyer Mini. Oh, actually, instead of that, the Life Straw bottle. That's the way to go. Let's see. Let's see. They probably don't have anything that looks like a good compass here. So I'll continue on. I don't really see paracord really. They might have it somewhere else. I'll just get a small piece of line. Okay, so I have a hat on my list because you gotta have a cool hat. This is the weirdest hat. This is something that those warrior poet guys might wear. But just for protection, something that will help me blend in. There's that. Let's see. Going through my list, checking it twice. All right, moving on. Again, this is, you know, even though this video may be edited for timeliness, for time, um, I am not making trips backwards. If I have to, I will, but the whole point is me to, to not have to make one backwards. Uh, headlamp, I'm gonna go with the Energizer headlamp, uh, if I'm gonna be a good a good bargain. They also have these headlamps at Walmarts that are one dollar. They're pretty much disposable, but they're a buck. Uh, so those things, you can put those things a lot of places. And I can just hear all the Walmart haters now. Shut the hell up. Wait a minute. This is not much more than that. It's a it's a Bushnell rechargeable that's about six bucks more and it comes with batteries and charger pack and all that so that's going to be a better better deal okay i was looking to see if they had silos i don't see any very important i was wanting to get a knife but there's nobody back here i was wanting to get one of the better knives but i'll skip that i'll just get a cheap knife If you're going to get a cheap knife, get a fixed blade knife and <laughs> fold up on you. All right. So I'm most of the way through the list now. I've got most everything on the list. Most everything, not everything. The other thing is to see if they have a paper map. They used to carry road atlases, but I don't see any now. C'est la vie, which is French for such is life. I'm gonna just check to see if they have anything that looks like an emergency radio. But communication is the most critical aspect of any tactical operation. And it's the first thing that breaks down. And so if we have some form of receiving like a FM or even AM transmission, that would be good. I guess you can't buy a radio anymore. Okay, here's some radios, <laughs> clock radios. There's a weather alert. Oh, okay, there's some small, there's a Sony, Sony uh, radio. It's a AM, FM. Okay, so little Sony radio, AM, FM. Make sure you get batteries for it. Clear eye protection, I didn't see any. We might see some on the way out, but that's for walking through the woods at night so the branches don't hit you in the eyes. A clear eye pro is one of the most important things on this list for sure. They used to have the MyPillow on the end rack, end cap. 
now I don't see them at all. Getting a gallon of water would be cheaper. However, um, if I get one hole in it, I lose all my water. So there's the, ooh, you know, what should I do? Uh, so I'm gonna get a couple of smart waters because they make you smarter. There was no signal mirror. I could stop by the makeup department and buy a mirror. Um, I didn't get a Leatherman type tool. Maybe I'll get one before I walk out. No compass that I saw anywhere. No side looms that I saw anywhere. They're probably in the kids section. Um, clear eye protection, map, didn't get that. Did get in the radio, did get a hat some kind of bandana or towel and I got water. So basically it leaves some kind of bandana or towel, paper and pencil, if you find that important, and batteries for the lights. Walking by the cliff bars, might as well get some of those too. How about the chocolate brownie and chocolate chip pack? Watch out for the police. We're not allowed to be recording in here. Shelton's got it down inside of a basket. So you might be seeing the bars from where it's in the, it's in the basket. I think they are onto us. So I have to finish this quickly. Hola. Hi, <laughs> Ben. Yeah, 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 muy bien. Look at these, look at all these kids. How are you? I'm just Hola, amigos and amigas. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's my friend uh, Shalongo from the Mexican restaurant. Known that guy 21 years and good guy. Uh, and that's it. And him and his kids and all that stuff. He's a great guy. Great guy. So batteries for lights, and I'm going to call it quits. The batteries are usually up here on a turnstile. I mean, uh, a kiosk. I see him right there. So I'll just grab a couple of packs. I don't know what all I need, but I know what all I'm getting. <laughs> okay. So, going through the list, I did not get clear Opro, but I'm trying to not cut back to the store, just go one way through. I didn't get like a bandana or a towel. But I got most everything else, so I'm gonna hit the checkout and see what this stuff costs. So we got back to the shop here, and uh, so let's talk about this pack for a minute. Yeah, I, I have on the list a backpack in case you want it flat-footed. I wanted to use this one because this is going to be another bug out bag for me from LA Police Gear. Uh, this is a three-day pack, could be a 10-day pack, uh, certainly for a walk home. But what I like about it is it's got these big pockets, and in the whole thing, there's only one inner pocket. I don't like opening the bags. It just They're just folded with all other bags and zipper pouches all over it. Like, I don't like those. I don't know why people started doing them. They drive the cost of the bag up. I like big, cavernous bags like this, period. So, I got some gloves. That should be pretty self-explanatory. That means it explains itself, what gloves are for, uh, but to protect your hands from stuff in case you have to do some manual. Even if you're walking with a walking stick, uh, having gloves protects your hands. The tarp, of course the tarp is for shelter. Uh, you could use it as just a makeshift sleeping bag or just to keep the weather off of you. Uh, this is a, a medium duty again i was looking for a light duty uh just for safe weight and space this is an eight by ten which is plenty big enough and uh, i should put my trash can closer huh uh, but uh, plenty big enough the uh, bushnell light uh, i've got some of these bushnell lights and i find them to be a, a very good bargain Sorry about all the noise. So it comes with uh, the light, the charger, the rechargeable battery, and the three uh, triple A's. And if I can remember how to open it, that's how you open that. 
well, might not do it on video because it might take me a minute. But uh, there it goes. But uh, I find these to be very good lights. If I can get the batteries in there correctly, right? Very good uh, lights. And uh, oh, purple. <laughs> But headlamp, if I had to have one light in a bug out bag, it's going to be the headlamp. Being rechargeable is great. If you read or watch any videos about people like in Argentina or other places that have suffered through strife, they will always tell you that rechargeable batteries are the way to go. Just period. Small bit of rope. Um, I'm even going to take this paper off. Here. Ounces equal pounds, pounds equal pain. Uh, I can pull this apart. I was looking for paracord. They didn't have any uh, wipes uh, for general cleanliness. Of course, you can use this for toilet paper. But also, a couple of days you've been all grimy and stuff. Stuff. Um, before I went to Iraq, a soldier told me, you don't believe how clean you could feel with just a bath with wipes. But it's true. If you've been dirty for a few days, you can get remarkably clean feeling with wipes. Um, Fire striker starter thing. I have no idea how well this thing might work, but I like having multiple multiple forms of fire. And uh, of course, my uh, Exotac. There's a link with a discount for Exotac under this video. Uh, but uh, It'll spark eventually. <laughs> uh, Exotac, <laughs> Exotac for that for that kind of stuff. Fire tender, uh, fire starter block that might be cut into pieces. Uh, uh, quest bars for energy, protein, all that stuff. Uh, emergency poncho, rain poncho. Uh, we'll take it out of this box there. Uh, very important. You can also wrap the tarp around you if you. We're in a rainstorm, like a poncho kind of a thing. The uh, the shitty whistle and compass and thermometer combo. I don't know why I need a thermometer, but, but we got that. Uh, if you are looking for help, calling for help, a whistle is great. Doesn't require a bunch of energy. Um, works really well. This appears to be an oil-filled compass with a magnifying glass, which might be the handiest piece of this whole thing. And thermometer, so got that going for me. Gorilla tape, any number of uses. Hot spots on your feet, repairing gear, uh, abducting somebody. No, <laughs> this isn't a Warrior Poet Society video. We don't abduct people here. Uh, some Coban. In case I have to wrap an ankle or anything like that, uh, any kind of a medical brain or something like that and then also the gauze pads used in conjunction with that in case there are any cuts so I can apply pressure to the cut like a pressure bandage you don't sell pressure bandages at Walmart so uh, bug spray very important there's a tick the Lone Star tick and if that tick uh, infects you you can't eat beef anymore and I don't know if I want to live if I can't eat beef so there's that. Water pure tabs, very important. Having more than one way to start a fire and more than one way to purify water is very important to me. Mucho importanto. Ibuprofen for the aches and pains and swelling. Uh, Stormproof matches, another fire making thing. I'm trying to get as much of it in this big pouch out here. All that stuff so far, besides the medical stuff, is gone into this one outside pouch. And it's got some more room, so we're going to keep jamming stuff in there. The hat, we had to go back and actually get a different hat. The hat we had uh, didn't have a tag on it, so Shelton had to run and get another, another hat. They got a box of cliff bars. Those would probably be transferred to a, a Ziploc bag or something like that for the sake of, uh, for the, sake of the video. So the tarp is now in the main compartment as well as those clip bars. 
So, so we've got the little Sony radio. It's going to be important to have knowledge of what's going on out in the world if things are getting bad. As much as much knowledge as you can have. It's actually pretty big. <laughs> it looks like it's actually bigger than the box it came in. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> it's got directions directions on how to use an extendable antenna oh my god yes there are people that don't know and uh, batteries and stuff so I got the batteries for everything headlamps and radios and all that stuff Notepad, and there are pencils in here somewhere. That's about it for this pouch, I think. Of course, the batteries and stuff are still in the bag. I could have trimmed away a little bit more space there. I always put my zippers on pouches and packs at the top of the middle. I don't have them on the sides. I always have all the zippers, top middle, especially the medical pouch. I want to always be able to find that zipper. So I always put the zippers in the middle at the top. Maybe that helps you. I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to stay with the, the medical stuff in that pouch right there. And let's see here. The uh, Life Straw filter bottle. Pretty simple to use. You fill it with water. You just put the dirty water in there. Put this in and drink out of it like a water bottle. You have to apply suction, but there you go. And then, and then the pencils. Of course, I don't need that many pencils, but uh, they were only 50 cents in the wood. I'll put two in there. Probably don't need that much pencil. Some stubs of pencils are going there with the notepad. You can always use uh, also wooden pencils for, for fire tinder. Uh, got this little fixed blade knife. And uh, if you're going to get a cheap knife, get a fixed blade so it doesn't fold up on you. not bad it's a rubbery handle not hard plastic which I thought it would be so it's kind of grippy plenty of blade for whatever you might need it for around the around the bug out scenario okay I didn't want to push it through my hand so it clicks in really hard yeah that's good that's actually not a bad little knife not bad at all let's go the rest of this stuff Got two bottles of water. Like I said, if I poke a hole in, in a gallon jug, then them doomed, as they would say. And not that I'm thumbing my nose or whatever, but I wasn't looking to save money. I've done videos with the with the uh, the twenty dollar bug out bag from from uh, the Dollar Tree. I've done the ninety nine dollar bug out bag. This one I just kind of went through. Imagine things might get bad or you're getting nervous and you you don't mind putting a little bit extra on the credit card or something like that um, You know it's not a big deal. So uh, I don't know where the uh, I don't know where the uh, receipt went off to uh -huh, Here's here they are. So I had to separately get the hat so um, 234 and 326 so call it 240 240 bucks pretty fast way to spend 240 bucks the last thing uh, are the the trash bags we certainly don't need this many uh, but the great thing about these is they're so useful so so many uses you can have for these like the 55 gallon ones the 55 gallon ones you can Make a rain poncho. Got 
So it doesn't cover your head, but you could use another one to cover your head. You can fill them with leaves or pine straw and make bedding uh, and a blanket. You fill these, use a, fill them with leaves or pine straw. Use a little bit of Gorilla Tape, to, just a little bit to tape the ends. Use that for a blanket and a pad to keep you off the ground. Um, you wear it like this to keep you warm as another layer of warmth. Uh, that's another thing. Your raincoat <laughs> is not just for the rain. <laughs> if you're cold, you can put your raincoat on too. So I usually keep about uh, uh, four to six in there. So I'll go ahead and do six in case my wife's with me or something. And there's still room to spare. Uh, most of most of the top half of this is empty. So, so all that stuff in here still room to spare. And uh, you're asking me how much it weighs. I don't fucking know. Um, weighs 20 pounds, uh, plus or minus. But this is the three-day assault pack from LA Police Gear, and I've been buying stuff from LA Police Gear since I was a police. Um, they do a lot of great sales and stuff like that. I've been a customer for a long time. These, this pack is awesome. And uh, this pack, this is the front pack. It will clip in, it will clip in on the front of this one if you want to, but uh, This is a front pack, and this one I see this being useful for for folks. Um, used it for the SKS video, the SKS versus AK video, uh, but for hunters or anybody uh, hikers that need stuff up front that you use a lot, this is actually uh, from the one of the most interesting packs I've seen in a long time. Uh, but it's a uh, load bearing, so you don't have to carry so much stuff if you've got binoculars they will keep them off your neck or straps off your neck uh, this is a pretty cool piece of kit this is the front pack pretty cool piece of kit so um, this this can uh, augment that pack very well it can become uh, it can become you can keep them separate so let's say you kept your hardcore survival gear in here all your uh, fire starting stuff, knives, compass, you kept all that in here. That way if something happened you were bugging out, you, if you wore them separately, you could boom, take off if you just did that stuff you, you would die without, you know, keep your water tabs and shit in here. Uh, or you could integrate them um, into into this pack and they become kind of like the, the down straps. They become kind of like the down straps. Uh, out in front of it, so it's a real, it's a real neat way to set your pack up. Really neat way. Um, but both of these are available. With the links below from, from LA Police Gear. Take a look around, poke around, see what you like, see what you think. This is James Jager with Tactical Response, reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the bug out never ends. You know, if you're a lazy fucker. Park near the cart returns. I have never met a person that I wanted to associate myself with that would just leave their carts out in the middle of a parking lot. Especially a day today like this windy. Blow that cart into somebody's fucking car. You suck an asshole for you. And, uh, and I always, as I'm walking in, if there's somebody like unloading groceries, I always offer to take their cart. Especially if they're old, I always ask people that look like they might need help if they need help looking groceries. I know that's very misogynistic and uh, boomer of me, but uh, I think that courtesy is something that people are wanting to die. Chivalry is being shunned, and I just don't think that's the way the world should be.